this is uh, KFI PBR, and I'm just making a video on how to program repeaters in the Beofing UV5R. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into VFO mode, uh, so we can program our receive frequency. And so what we'll start out with is we'll type in our receive frequency, which is one four seven one two uh, zero, and uh, that's just uh, whatever receive frequency you have, you'll put that in. And then our next thing is to go to the menu, and then we're going to go into memory or uh, menu 13. So just type in 13, and that will give us our tone setting. And uh, this repeater actually doesn't have tone, so I'm not going to program it in. But whatever yours is, 110.9 or 100 or whatever it is, uh, you can just type that in. Um, so the next thing we'll do is we will go to number 25, and that is SFT. Uh, slash D and what that will do is that will decide whether it is uh, a negative or positive offset so we're gonna hit menu again and that's gonna let us select and we're gonna you can go there up or down and uh, just choose whether you want a negative or positive and we want a positive offset so we'll just have positive okay hit menu again and that's in uh, then we're just going to scroll up to number 26 and it says offset as you can see and then we're going to hit menu again uh, and ours is a positive 600 kilohertz offset so we'll just go zero zero and then six zero zero so we have 600 in hit menu that locks that in and then we're going to go to number 27 so we're going to go up again and that's our memory channel so we're going to hit menu and I'll just program it in 15 you can program whatever channel you want in there and uh, you just uh, hit menu again it says channel 15 good now what you want to do now is you want to exit and then you want to hit this scan button which also has the star on it so hit that one and you'll see a little R come up here I don't know if you can see the video but a little R will be up and um, basically what you'll do after that is hit menu again, you're in memory channel, hit menu again, so you can select that, and then just menu again. <laughs> uh, so just three times, and you will be in there on the repeater. Okay, so now we're going to exit out of here, and then we can go to VFO mode, and as you can see it's in, and if you want to check to see if your offset is correct, uh, then we can actually hit scan so okay so there's the regular receive frequency and then if we hit the scan button the star button then the R will pop up and it will actually show us our transmit frequency which is 600 kilohertz higher um, so that looks good and uh, so we can uh, make a test transmission and see if it worked uh, this is KF5 PBR testing So you can see it worked. Um, so that's basically how to do it in the uh, in the radio itself. And uh, let me see here. I have it programmed to show the frequency on the top. Um, you can change it to show the name of the channel or the channel number. You know, however you want that. So I'll go back down to this and I'll go and hit uh, zero one five, and you can see it's in there as channel fifteen. Um, so if you want an alpha tag to program the station name of that repeater or, you know, what it is, um, you'll have to do it in the computer, which I'll show right now. Um, so basically, you have a programming cable, here's a programming cable, USB, and then it has the speaker microphone connector. So, let me see here, pop this open, It'll plug in, right on the side, pretty simple. Um, and basically, what we'll have is a program. Let's see what we got here. A Beofing program. 
and um, when you connect to the cable um, you're gonna have to install the drivers which is pretty straightforward and I'll uh, I'll put a link in to show uh, where you can get all the software but uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, use this find com port uh, program uh, you're gonna run it and it's basically going to tell you what COM port the uh, USB cable is in uh, and that's going to be very important when you start to run the software um, so once you're in this program it's uh, just a UV, UV5R uh, programming software uh, you're going to connect the radio pretty much and uh, you know look at communication if you click communication then it'll let you select the COM port so this is really important if you want it to work. Um, so once you find out uh, what your COM port is, you can select whichever one it is. It happens to be eight on my computer, uh, but you'll just have to test on yours. Um, so then after that, um, you can have uh, two different program options, and that's read from write radio and write to radio. So write to radio is you know when you have new information put in the radio then you're going to write to it read is really helpful too if you already have uh, channels programmed in then uh, you can you can read in that information instead of having to type it all out back into the spreadsheet um, but basically on the spreadsheet what you have is uh, your channel number your band receive frequency transmit frequency uh, your uh, different tone encoding and decoding, uh, your transmit power, uh, wide or narrow, uh, you have PTTID, uh, and then you have your channel name over here, uh, which is important for alpha tags. Um, so if you want to alpha tag, you type in the name of your channel over there. So once you have all that in, uh, you can write to radio, it's pretty good. But if you want the alpha tags, then you're going to need to, let me see here, go to optional features, and that will open up this menu, and then right down here, it will say A channel, let's see if we can focus, uh, A channel display way, and it will have channel and frequency, and also channel and name, and then channel. If you want alpha tags, you need channel and name, so you'd want to select that on both. Uh, and that would show your alpha tags on there that you programmed in. Um, so basically, I mean, it's it's pretty simple uh, as far as programming it, uh, and it's a lot easier to do it in the computer. Uh, just type in them out, um, and uh, you can also, if you uh, a nice feature on the on the pro or on the computer is uh, if you want to uh, program in just a receive frequency and you don't want to transmit on the frequency maybe you're not licensed to transmit on that frequency like it's police radio or something like that then uh, you can just program in the receive frequency and then uh, just leave the transmit frequency blank so you'll never transmit on that frequency and uh, that's a nice feature um, but uh, that's basically it and uh, a lot of people ask me about uh, this antenna that I have on here and I'll probably do a separate video on that, so uh, just stay tuned on that. And I'll probably do another video on just uh, some of the other basic features of the radio that I didn't touch on in my first video. So uh, just stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching 73s.